it's Mark, RPM Tesla Aftermarket Accessories. We're making a quick video on our pocket extenders for the Model Y. So come on over, we want you to see what they look like with the storage shelf in it. So again, this is a sub trunk. These are our sill plates. These, um, the nice thing about the sub trunk is if you have our storage trays, our dual level storage trays, these are awesome. So anyway, um, we're gonna show you how to install this. We wanna show you outside of the box, so to speak, and then we're gonna close it. So a lot of people um, are a little bit confused of how these fit, how the pocket extenders fit. So we just updated the photographs on our website and all they do is extend the pocket. So now you have deeper pockets, obviously, and they hold on with Velcro. So I'm gonna remove this one that we've had in here a while and let's start fresh by just taking one right out of the bag, the way you'll receive it. Now we used to put Tesla letters on the side. Tesla said, no, no, no. That's our intellectual property, don't do it. So when you open this up, you've gotta figure out front and back. And the backs have the material seams on them. So these are obviously two backs, two fronts. So now you gotta figure out right and left. So in the car, you're going to be looking at the angle in the trunk to figure out which goes where. This to me looks like the uh, driver's side because of the angle. This looks like the back of the trunk. So again, we're looking at the front side, which is not the seam material, and you have to figure out the passenger or driver's side. So this, excuse me, is the driver's side. And the Velcro is going to tuck inside here. And this Velcro is going to go right behind the back. So you're basically going to take it like this, fold the Velcro pieces up, line it up like this. And I mean, it couldn't be any easier, but we want to make it as simple. You know, originally we thought about putting them like this. So you could take the Velcro, put it on like that, just like that. So it's pretty much vertical. Take this side and stick it on here. Now, that allows the pocket to expand a little bit. And then when you close your sub trunk cover, you see how it fits. Now that's the first way you could put it on. Real strong, real deep. All your bottles are in here, gonna sit nice and flat. And uh, it matches real nice. You can see through the sunlight here. So that's one way you could put it on. If you wanted a little more height, you could simply put it up here on top of the frunk, sub trunk holder, put it like this. You could put it inside, but I think the best way to do it is to put it just like this. So it's slightly below the line. This is for, I think the best match or the greatest aesthetic value because it looks so consistent and uniform. Um, you see in the lighting we have coming through the sunroof here. So the flocking or the Velcro like material I think looks best. So uh, this does not tuck inside like on the Model 3. It's on an angle. You have lots of room. Things can move with the Velcro. It does allow the pockets to bend and flex and it looks great. And you've added about seven inches, six, seven inches of height. Now, if you move the sub trunk tray out of the way, you might notice a gap. So again, this is all up to you. There's no right or wrong. There's no reason to wonder if you put it on right. It's just Velcro. It just grabs and holds. So the male side of the Velcro is gonna grab and attach itself to anything that of the hook and loop system, I guess I should say that will grab, which is all the carpeted areas in here. You could put this one over here. You could put it here. It's gonna grab. So stick it right on the sides. Don't worry about it. It looks great. Let's do the other side real quick. We'll just swing over. Now you can see on this side, I've got a lot of stuff. I'm using my pocket extenders. So I'm gonna pull this one out. And you can see the height difference. If you put it all the way down, like that versus like this, you get more room. So again, I think they look best and they function to the highest level um, when you put it on top. So on top of the sub trunk cover, just 
put it down like this, line it up where you want it. You can stick it down inside, or you can put it up high, whatever you want to do. And uh, so let's just pick our spot. Now with our sill plates, these are really nice. Stainless steel sill plates, they're in stock. Just put it just like this. And you want to make sure it's going to have somewhere to grab onto. And you want to have good Velcro attachment area. So see what we're doing. Just stick it right on there. Press firmly. Now look at the alignment from up high. And just make sure you're not too high or too low before you attach this side. Bend the Velcro behind. And there you go. So that's exactly what it's going to look like in your car. And it's only a matter of higher or lower and the height that you're going to get out of it. But this is pretty deep. You can put a lot of stuff in here now. And after you put it on, if you think, oh, I want it a little bit lower, just grab the Velcro, push it down like this. They're sewn together really well. And that's it. Now, uh, I also have one more variable. I'll show everybody. Um, storage, 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 uh, extra uh, hitch cover. But I also have floor mats in my car and I also have floor mats secured. So I'm gonna cover, take my 3D Max Spider mats that many of our customers have. Now take a look at it here. You can see now, you know, you still have it in place. It's still holding on good. You still have your latch here. Everything fits good. I use, of course, our net cover, cargo net cover, all the options in our models. So everything is compatible together. You can still connect everything. You still have this. You still have all your storage. And cargo bay cover, your net cover. So our windscreen that goes down below in the sub truck. And of course, don't forget our awesome retractable cargo bay covers. There you go, everything's all secured, locked in. You still can open and close it. There's no interference with the side pocket extenders. Uh, thanks again. And uh, hopefully everyone understands how these fit. And um, you know, there's just a little bit of variables. You can have a gap here. You don't have to have a gap if you don't want it completely up to you just based on the height that you want to install and then if you ever notice the side of the velcro it should be an easy fix just tuck it in behind like that push it down on the back side but they fit great thanks again for watching we'll get a couple pictures the flocking is real nice and uh, they sure have a practical way of helping keep everything stored away or stowed away. Thanks again, RPM Test Lab Morning Accessories.